Good morning, sir. Good morning, students. Today we will learn a new chapter named the land of sand. Deserts are dry lands. They receive very little rainfall. There are two types of deserts: hot desert and cold deserts. Most hot deserts are located on the western side of the continents. See on the board a picture is there showing all the deserts in that are in the world. As we know that the Sahara desert is the biggest desert. Now let's know about Saudi Arabia. Saudi Arabia is a Muslim country. The Arabian Peninsula in the southwest of Asia is a hot desert. Saudi Arabia occupies most of the peninsula. Let's know about the location of Saudi Arabia. Saudi Arabia is the fifth largest country in Asia. It is surrounded by Jordan, Iraq, Kuwait, Qatar, Bahrain, the United Arab Emirates or UAE, Oman and Yemen. The Red Sea is in the west and the Persian Gulf is in the east. Look at the board. One picture is there showing Saudi Arabia. Let's know about the land of Saudi Arabia. Most of the Saudi Arabia is a rocky plateau covered by a vast desert. About half of the country is a barren desert. There are mountains on the western side near the Red Sea. The interior of the country is covered with sand. Rab Al Khali in the south and An Nafud in the north are continuous bodies of sand. This region is dotted with sand dunes strong winds often shift the sand dunes from one place to another there are no lakes or permanent rivers in saudi arabia the wades or the streams that are formed after the rain and last for a short time so there is an acute shortage of fresh water in the country Now let's know about the climate of Saudi Arabia. Saudi Arabia has an extreme hot climate. There is hardly any rainfall. In fact, there may be no rainfall for several years. The summer season lasts from May to September. The wind weather is very hot and dry during the day time. The nights are relatively cold. The winter season lasts from October to April. The days are warm while the nights are very cold. In the coastal areas the temperatures are mild. Sand storms are common in all seasons. Now let's learn about the vegetation of Saudi Arabia. Plants that grow here withstand the hot and dry weather. Most plants have long roots that go deep into the soil in search of water. They also have soft and fleshy roots and stem to store water. Sledge, tamarisk and date palm grow here. Now, let's learn about the wildlife of Saudi Arabia. Many animals are found here. Different types of insects, snakes and scorpions live in the desert. Falcons, eagles, vultures, rabbits and wild goats are commonly found here. The camel is the most useful animal in the desert. Its feet are adapted to walk on the sand. It can also live without food and water for many days. Now let's learn about the economic activities of Saudi Arabia. A very small part of Saudi Arabia is suitable for growing crops. The main agriculture products are wheat, rice, alfalfa, dates and vegetables. Water needed for irrigation and domestic use is obtained by desalinating seawater. Date palms grow in the areas where the underground water comes to the surface. Such an area is called an oasis 
permanent settlements are found near the oasis. Look at the picture of an oasis on the board. Sir, what is alfalfa? Alfalfa is called lucerne and called mitigago stratelvia in binomial nomiculture which is an perennial flowering plant in the leguine family flower case it is cultivated as an important forage crop in many countries around the world it is used for grazing hay and silage as well as a keen manure and cover crop and see the picture of alfa alfa plant on the board saudi arabia is one of the largest producers of petroleum in the world almost the entire income of the country comes from the export of petroleum the government is deploying different types of industries such as petrochemicals petroleum refining power generation and telecom these industries employ a large number of people now let's know about the life of the people who are in saudi arabia the discovery of petroleum has changed the lifestyle of the people the money earned from exporting petroleum is being used for the development of the country towns and cities have grown rapidly the people who were nomads earlier now they live a settled life the they work as traders or in factories people in villages still led a traditional life most people live by tending flocks of sheep goats camels some people still led a nomadic life they move from one place to another in search of grasslands and water sources arab men wear loose long sleeved a one piece dress that covers the whole body they also wear a cloth over their head held in a place by a ring made from camel hair women wear loose black locks people in cities wear western clothes now let's learn about the special people who live in saudi arabia they are named bedouins bedouins are nomadic people they led a very hard life most of them live by breeding camels sheep and horses they get milk from the animals and use the hair of animals to make clothes tents and drugs during the summer the bedouins camp near an oasis in the winter they follow the routes through the desert where there is water the exchange of lamb sheep goats wool carpet and camels for dates food grains and other useful things the life cycle of bedouins have is now changing many have given up their nomadic ways and have settled in urban areas let me tell you about the cities of saudi arabia saudi arabia has many cities both old and new the new cities have all the modern facilities riyadh is the capital of the country it is a modern city with skyscrapers parks markets educational institutes and hospitals jeddah is a commercial city and a busy port makka and medina are holy cities in saudi arabia people come here for pilgrimage thank you for watching